your body is made up of millions and millions of cells. In fact, they are between 50 and 75 trillion cells in the body. These cells are dying and being replaced all the time. Your red blood cells live about four months, white blood cells on average for over a year, whereas your colon cells have a lifespan of only about four days, whilst your brain cells last for a lifetime. Cancer can start when just one of the trillion cells begins to grow and multiply too much. The result is a mass of cells called a tumor. The starting place of abnormal cell growth and division is called the primary tumor. They can start almost anywhere in the body. Changes take place within the genes of a cell or group of cells, resulting in an abnormal cell division. Genes are specific codes of DNA that tell the cell what to do by coding for specific proteins or an RNA molecule. Proteins and RNA together control the cell. They decide what type of cell it is, what it does, when it divides, and when the cell will die. When cells divide by mitosis, the DNA is replicated and sometimes mistakes are made. These are called mutations. Lots of mutations are silent. They have no effect on the cell because they occur in non-coding regions of the DNA. But sometimes mutations in certain genes may mean that too many proteins are produced that trigger the cell to divide. Or proteins that normally tell the cell to stop dividing may not be produced. The cell then starts to grow out of control. But don't panic. This isn't quite as risky as it sounds. There has to be roughly six or more mutations to coding DNA before a normal cell turns into a cancer cell. So mutations do the damage, but what causes them to happen? Cells are usually very good at repairing damage to genes. They have special repair mechanisms in place, but over time the damage may build up, and then it can be a domino effect. Once the cell starts growing too fast and dividing rapidly, they are more likely to pick up even more mutations, and less likely to repair the damage. Whilst mutations can happen by natural processes, they can also be triggered by lifestyle. For example, there are cancer-causing substances known as carcinogens in tobacco smoke. In fact, more than 4 out of 5 cases of lung cancer are caused by smoking. Genetics also have a role to play. Faulty genes can be passed from parent to offspring. Most inherited cases of breast cancer are associated with two abnormal genes, BRCA1 and BRCA2. Other cancer-causing factors include exposure to radiation, exposure to UV radiation from the sun, and some chemicals in the environment, amongst other things. So from this video, you should know that cancer is the result of changes in cells that lead to uncontrolled cell growth and division. It is a non-communicable disease in humans, which means it is not infectious. Cancer is caused by changes in a person's DNA, and these changes cause a cell to divide by mitosis more than it usually would, which can create a tumor.